Hey there guys, Zach here for Windows Central and welcome back to another video. Now today we're taking a look at some upcoming features we can expect to see in Windows 10 throughout 2019. So these features in this video are going to be very early, which means they're not done, they look rough and they're unfinished. A lot of this could change, but we're giving you an early look at some of the things Microsoft are working on internally that should begin showing up in Insider Builds officially in the next few weeks and months. So again, these are all very early unfinished features, some of which may never ship, others will ship, but in a completely different way. Uh, than what we're seeing in today's implementation. So yes, diving straight in, you may already notice it, but on the taskbar, there's now a separate Cortana button next to the search bar rather than within it. And this is because Microsoft is planning to split up the search and Cortana experiences in one of the upcoming versions of Windows 10. Now, why are they doing this? It's simple. So they can build out two separate experiences that make sense for what those features are. Uh, search today is a Cortana experience, but that means Cortana's assistant experience is very limited to more search functionality which isn't great. A digital assistant can be more than just searching your PC and online. So they are separating Cortana and search so that they can build out Cortana as a much more assistant-like feature uh, without messing about with search. So search will still be the search function. And as you can see here, um, we, we launch it, we get our recent activities, but we can go straight into searching for stuff. And Cortana isn't really shouting at us in here, which is very nice. Now, like I said, UIs and everything, this is all very early. Lots of this will change. So anything that looks rough like this screen, for example, will not look like this when it is final. So if we move over to Cortana, Cortana's UI is still the old UI, obviously, but Microsoft is planning to change up Cortana's experience quite a bit. It will look and feel a little bit more like the Google Assistant UI when it's done. But for now, it's just the old UI. I click on it and it starts listening rather immediately. Um, that's not what it's going to be like in the final implementation. In fact, I would be surprised if they keep the Cortana icon here next to search. It would make more sense for them to move it over to the system tray or the action center somewhere in buried in the right side of the taskbar so that it's not, you know, in the way of everything else going on on the taskbar here. If we hide the search bar, you can see here that there's now four icons down here next to your pinned icon. So I suspect that they will move the Cortana button into the system tray. Uh, probably next to the action center if not in the action center at some point so that will be very exciting but yes they're working on like a chat based ui for cortana which when clicked on will you know bring you into a ui where you can type your um your query and cortana can respond to you uh, in addition um you know search and cortana will still be able to talk to each other so if i open up search here and ask what's the weather like There's Cortana's result right there. And that's because Cortana is basically Bing and vice versa. So if, if I'm in Cortana, I can ask Cortana to search for my documents. Search for my documents. And it will open up search. So they will still talk to each other. So Cortana won't be missing out on search and search won't be missing out on Cortana. But the two experiences will be separate, which is uh, very nice. And for those of you who don't like Cortana, this is great news. For those of you who do, this is also great news because Cortana's experience will evolve and improve as a digital assistant without affecting search and search's experience will evolve and improve without affecting Cortana, which is very nice indeed. So that's just one thing Microsoft is currently working on. Again, this early implementation is definitely not final. That entire experience will likely be overhauled and improved before it ships. But for now, that's a quick early look at search and Cortana's separation. So moving right along, the next thing Microsoft is working on for one of the releases in 2019 is fluent design within context menus on the start menu and taskbar. So um, right now, then they're, they're not fluent design at all, but in a future version of Windows, they will be. If we click on something here, you can see we now have fluent design reveal effects and acrylic blur. If we right click on one of these tiles here, uh, we get a, a subtle drop shadow in addition to the uh, reveal effects and blur effects as well, which is very nice. Same goes for jump lists on the taskbar here. If we right click on edge here, for example, you can see I have fluent design all over the place. And frankly, it looks fantastic. Now, Microsoft is going to continue implementing fluent design throughout the Windows shell. And this is just an example of how we can expect them to do that in 2019. You will also see it in a uh, timeline, for example, here, which is very nice indeed and in Microsoft Edge. So if we open up Microsoft Edge here, right click on something, you can see there's a slight drop shadow and I have my Fluent Design going all about it. Oh, except for there. <laughs> Context menus are still very inconsistent. Um, but yeah, you can see a drop shadow here as well, which looks nice. Now, another little feature Microsoft is working on is an improved music control UI. So if we open up Spotify here and start playing something, 
So here we go, we're playing some music here. If I minimize that and go to the volume icon, you'll see that there's now controls for music. You can see that Spotify is running, this is the song I'm playing and the artist, and I have the ability to play, pause, skip, repeat, and shuffle. I can also change the uh, playback device. So right now I'm playing through the Elgato speakers. Uh, then I can change it to my native speakers or my headphones if I had them plugged in, for example. And this is a much nicer music control UI. It fits in with the Windows 10 design and it's just really nice. So that's not that's something else you can look forward to seeing in a future Windows 10 build. Now, another feature Microsoft is working on is a true light theme for Windows 10. As you all know right now, the theme in Windows 10 is kind of weird. It's a dark taskbar with start menu and action center, but with light apps. Uh, in a future version of Windows 10, Microsoft will be adding a light theme to Windows as well, which themes not only the apps, but the taskbar, start menu and action center as well. So you can expect to see um, you know, a light taskbar, which will look pretty nice. So it's not actually working in this build I have, but I can sort of give you an example of what it will look like based on that thumbnail preview there. If we set this to one, you can see there that the start menu has turned white as has the taskbar and the action center would do the same as well. It will look very clean. If you're a fan of light themes, this will look fantastic. But for now, it's not working. That's just a, a teaser as to what we can expect to show up in a future version of Windows 10 as well. Oh yeah, also whilst we're here in settings, you'll see that since Cortana and search is being split up, there's now a dedicated search category that has all the search settings in it. And Cortana's settings are now separate as well, which is very nice. Now, another change Microsoft is working on is a better categorized downloads folder. As you can see here, downloads are now categorized by when you downloaded them, which makes much more sense for a downloads folder. In today's implementation, if you download a file, you usually have to go hunting for it in the downloads folder. It's usually sorted alphabetically. So if you downloaded something that begins with Y, you have to scroll the way down to find it. But in a future version of Windows 10, that won't be the case. You will simply just see it right at the top because it was the last thing you downloaded. And then it's sorted by yesterday, you know, a few days ago, last week, etc., etc. So if we download something now, what can we download? Let's download Google Chrome. Download Chrome. Uh, accept and install. So we can save that installer there. That has now downloaded and if we close out Edge, you'll see that today I downloaded Chrome yesterday, I downloaded a couple of Surface related things and last week I downloaded a tool. Very nice, it's a nice way of categorizing and sorting downloads in the downloads folder on Windows 10. Okay, so that's a very quick look at some of the things Microsoft is working on for Windows 10 in 2019. There are lots of other features, of course, we didn't go through all of them here today. Things like Windows sets are still in the works and so on. But for now, that's just a quick look at some of the things that are sort of half working in the public builds, even though they're not enabled by default. Uh, thanks to the book is closed on Twitter for helping me enable some of these for me to show you on video and keep it locked to Windows Central for more news regarding upcoming features in Windows 10. Thanks so much for watching and I shall see you in the next one. Bye bye.